How's it going YouTube? It's Rude Junkie here and today's video we're going to be unboxing this bad boy right here. This is the Samsung Chromebook Plus. It's brand new, just came out um, this last week. Um, I'm really excited for it because I've been wanting to get my hands on a Chromebook again, especially now that it supports apps from the App Store and not just Chrome OS. So let's go ahead, we're going to open this thing up and check it out. So let's uh, open it up here, set this sucker down and take a look at what we've got. Da, 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 da. What? There it is. Now this is actually funny. It reminds me very much of basically having a an Apple. When I got my Apple laptop, it looked just like this, man. Just like this. So uh, what do we got? First thing we have here in the box is going to be your little remover because this does come with an S Pen. It's also the directions here, instructions, quick start guide. So I'm going to set this aside, but the little grabber that comes with it, I'll show you a close up later. Um, otherwise, we've got a little tiny box here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, very basic. So this is your charging brick. Again, very reminiscent of a MacBook. That's hilarious. It's just funny how much Samsung is copying them. So this is uh, USB type C and their little power brick, a little smaller than a MacBook, but there it is right there. And then last but not least, the device. Ooh, this thing feels thin. Oh man, I'm liking it. Let's move this thing out of the way. Go ahead and slide it out of the wrap. Shushing. Bada bing. Look at that. Whoa, sweet. Wow, that looks really, really clean. Really, really clean. Check that out. Oh, we gotta take off the, the little wrapper here. Ready? Kind of funny it's just a little hinge wrap around there not quite sure what that's about looks like there's are some seals here on the hinges as well and we'll pull those off wow they really i'm surprised they're really protecting those hinges i mean you could probably end up leaving these things on honestly but um you know pretty sweet pull those off shushing shiny little hinges very nice very nice and actually this is interesting i don't know if you guys can see this but right here the little pen is actually already halfway popped out. So let's go ahead and slide that out. Oh yeah. What's up? Look at that. Boom. Oh. Oh, love that feeling. Love that feeling. Love it. Boom. Right there. A little S Pen action going on. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this bad boy. So uh, starting here with the side here, we've got the headphone jack. We've got the micro USB type C or USB type C I should say. Here's a micro SD card slot which does have a little tab that looks like you're gonna break off probably fairly quickly. A um, little flap that holds it on there. So you do have that and actually I mean once you got the card in there who needs to open it again honestly so I guess it's not too big a deal. Um, flip it around to the front of the device. Very clean nothing on the front edge. Flip it around to the uh, back here or the other side we have volume up and down power Another USB Type-C and of course that beautiful S Pen, so that's cool. Now this one doesn't have any other buttons on it, you know, like on your on a phone like a Note 7 if they're still around or a Note 5. You've got, um, you know, a little button on it. This one does not, but it goes in and clicks in very, very nicely. Let's flip it around to the back. So the only thing you can really point out here is you have a speaker and a speaker. So this is going to be a little bit annoying because if you put this thing on your lap, the speakers are very going to be very easily blocked, I'm sure, if you're trying to like watch a video or something. So, you know, that's that. And then again, around over here, we've got your hinges and hinges. Um, this thing does fold really nicely. And then here you go. We'll get you the front view right there. So there it is. Chrome, Chrome right there. Samsung. So let's open this sucker up. So really the beauty of, of a device like this is the fact that it can do this. Whoa! Look at that. Boom. Check it out. Keyboard on the one side and screen on the other side. I mean, obviously, you can use it as a tablet like this. You can actually put it up like this, set it down, watch movies. You can use it like this. You can take your S Pen out. You can write on it. So really, the, the beauty of this device is that it's so multifunctional. Built-in pen for drawing. I'm sure you can draw on the screen. I wonder if it actually does works anything with the trackpad itself. Um, but honestly, spacing is not bad. Feels okay. I mean, a little small. I mean, it's, but 
not too bad. I mean, it's, it's a smaller size uh, body here, so you're not like a full frame uh, laptop. But, um, you know, escape. Interesting, there's some directional keys right here. Your volume. This is funny. Th this right here, this is straight up MacBook, right? Straight up volume and right there. That's exactly what they have their layout is. Same with these keys. I really feel like um, Samsung is very much mimicking the MacBook uh, keyboard layout and he just design here with this device. I mean, if they had a command button, I would just die laughing. So anyway, very cool though. We're gonna have to power this thing up and take a look at the operation, operating system and see how it actually runs. So pretty excited to check that out, guys. Let's let's boot it up and take a closer look at it. So guys, let's go ahead and take the micro USB cable right here and let's plug in this device. Now, this thing, it's pretty sweet. I'm gonna talk about the specs as I plug it in. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's plug this thing in. And what you're gonna notice is as soon as you plug in the cable here, it should start up, we'll power it up. Um, and we'll power up the device here. Um, it's really, really slick. Let's talk about some of the, the features on it. We do have a 12.3 inch screen. And you can see, man, that thing booted up like insanely fast. So big prompt thumbs up to that. It's obviously got the setup thing here. So we gotta go through the setup wizard. Um, you know connect to our network and so on, but basically we've got the 12.3 inch screen We've got 32 gigs of onboard storage. It also has a hexacore processor at 2 point I think 2.0 gigs so uh, processor speed gigahertz um, It's a pretty nice setup. I'm really excited to get it booted up and try it out Let me go through my setup really quickly. So here you go guys This is everything all booted up and here is the operating system. So I'm very unfamiliar with this operating system. I haven't had a Chromebook in quite a while, so I'm just kind of curious how it's going to function. Um, obviously, you can see there is Google Play right there, YouTube, Docs, Netflix pre-installed. So a bunch of different applications, Google stuff basically, honestly. Most of this is all Google besides Netflix. I'm curious. I think this would have other applications. So yeah, it is. So you've got all these. Let's see what else we've got in here. I'm, I gotta assume that Samsung's had to put in something. So, just kind of skimming. It's all Google. Here's a file explorer we can use if we want, which I have not even a SD card in here yet, but, and it's interesting that it like links to all your drive stuff. So that, that's kind of cool. Um, that's kind of like built into the file explorer. Let's see what other applications we have. So, standard camera. I guess we can look and see how it looks when it's looking back at me. Let's see how it looks. There we go. There I am. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. There's a ton of filters along the bottom. Uh, I'm sure it'd be fine for like uh, doing hangouts and things like that. So not bad, not bad. Not the greatest, but not bad. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got on here. Other options. I wonder what uh, definition that camera is. Probably 720 would be my guess, but I don't really know. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we have Sudoku built-in weather bug, which actually I like. I actually use that a lot, so kind of glad that that's in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, my Chrome theme, I'm guessing, is what that stands for. Secure Shell Beta, interesting. Uh, offline Solitaire, what else? Google Forms, Google Auth, Google My Maps. Zip Extractor, that's an interesting uh, addition. Uh, kind of weird. Draw, and then what do we have here? Art Canvas, so that would probably be something you would use with the S Pen. And actually, I just wanted to see what was going to happen, so. Here I went ahead and removed the S Pen, and it looks like it already opened up these stylus tools automatically. So we have was this laser pointer mode, interesting magnification, new note, capture screen, capture region. So I'm sure with capture screens can do all the capture region. You're going to draw what you want to capture. Okay, there you go, boom. So and then you come over here and you can actually go in here and probably look at it, which I just captured a piece of my screen. So let's just see what it does. There you go. All right, so yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, works really nicely, works really nicely. Now what I'm wondering though is if, let's see, I think this does it, okay, yeah. So that, that little tab is on screen all the time. So if you wanna to get to any of the stylus toolboxes, you can do it right here very simply. There, here's magnification, so let's see how that works. Oh, interesting. So it just, you hold it down and anything inside that bubble, it magnifies. So I mean, you know, useful, I guess, if you have, you know, poor eyes, something like that. This is laser. Oh, that's kind of cool. It like tracks where you're going with the red little laser. Neat. 
neat, definitely neat uh, additions. Those things turn on and off. Those those two would be on all the time if you leave them checked. There's also some settings in here. Let's see what we got in here. Show styles, toolbox, yeah, open styles, yeah, when it launches. So some default things you can do right here. And uh, that's pretty, pretty sweet. We'll close that out. So interesting, I do have some notifications here. It looks like um, for my screenshot and then for beta, over a million apps and games talking about the Play Store. You can do some adjustments to your notifications and settings, what you want to actually have notify you or not. Not bad. Not bad at all. Back to notifications. You can close it out. So let's see what else we got here. I'm showing, yeah, this is our settings. So what you're connected to, oh, cast devices, which are available. That's really cool. Um, what else do we got here? Power buttons, lock feature, help settings let's go into settings again okay so this is the same settings you can get to when you go to the stylus settings right here same exact button which is interesting and these settings look exactly like settings do on chrome so that's interesting as well you can just see what we got home page youtube it's interesting it looks like it pulled all of my default home pages stuff from chrome so that's very nice as well don't want to get in too much into that let's see about uh opening this up here there's YouTube, very nice. Go to my channel. You guys can see some of the stuff I like there. You actually saw some of it. There's my channel, some recommended videos. Actually, this video right here is really wicked, wicked cool. If you haven't seen my uh, first ride with my Samsung uh, Gear 360 camera, that's really cool. You gotta check that out, it's a neat video. So launch it back down. Yeah, very smooth, very snappy, definitely liking that. Um, yeah, sweet. I like it a lot. S Pen is nice. I'm sure like if you get in here to like their drawing applications or something like that, um, this S Pen is going to be really, really awesome. Let's see if I have some. Actually, I want to see this theme thing first. Let's look at that. Here's themes. Okay, so this is just extensions and stuff you can put in through Chrome, which will actually theme the device. So eh, that's neat. That's neat too. It's kind of cool. Um, but I'm looking, I want to see a drawing application and just see what we have to use the stylus. So. We do have this art canvas. It's interesting when you, you know, if you guys are noticing it, when I tap the screen with it up like this, it definitely goes ahead and shakes. So this may take a couple minutes. It looks like it needs to connect to the Play Store for some of this stuff to function. Maybe it's like finishing downloading it or updating it. I'm not really sure what it is. Um, very interesting. Yeah, probably it's updating through the Play Store, so I'm gonna let that let that run down here. So you can see there's some progress of it running down there in the bottom. So there's different things you can look at for sure here, but uh, very simple, very easy to use. I wonder if it uses OK Google as well. Let's try. It. Well, let's just turn on this thing right here. Let's see what it does. Huh? Oh, terms and conditions for the Play Store. It's still trying to load things up, so that's interesting. I want, I want it to be able to just do like a, a Google search. When I said, okay, Google, my Google uh, home behind me turned out. It was kind of funny. So let's say we got some my updates. Apologies. I don't understand. See, she's talking to me. Don't listen to that lady. Yeah, it's setting up, finishing setup. There we go. All right. Oh, sweet. Check this out. So there's a tutorial. This thing looks pretty slick, actually. If you're really into like sketching and stuff, look at all these... Tip, tip brushes. Let's just do like, like an idea of, of what these actually do. Let's just let's just do a demonstration. So here's the first one. Okay. Change to the next one. Well, that's interesting. It like fades out. Pencil. Wow. It looks like a pencil too. That's kind of cool. And it looks like the more you push. The, the, the thinner or thicker. Wow, it's very pressure sensitive. That's kind of neat too. Okay, you got a racer, obviously. What else do we got here? Like a highlighter. It's kind of like a spray paint almost. And what do we got here with this one? Whoa, that sucker's thick. So you have a, a bunch of different tips. That's, that's actually kind of cool. Um, very, very neat and fun to play with. Enable, okay, Google. See I, see, I told you that's what I was trying to do. Yes, and start it. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Shut up, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. There, I trained her. And the one behind yeah. me is freaking out. Yeah, she says I did train My her. My apologies. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, shut up. 
Oh, so anyway, there you go, guys. That's kind of my first overview here of the Chromebook from Samsung. It, it's pretty sweet. S Pen, I'm, I'm digging. I've always liked using this thing on all my phones. Uh, any of the note line. So I guess some final thoughts on this fun little unboxing here of the Chromebook Plus uh, by Samsung is just I'm really excited to check it out. I mean the screen is amazing. Definitely love it. The applications that are on there are sweet. The fact that we have the Play Store is amazing. So I'm gonna use this thing for a while. You know I'm probably gonna use it as my multimedia device just surfing the web and watching videos and stuff like that. Some YouTube obviously and uh, we'll go from there but Definitely, if you're interested in something like this, I'm going to leave a link to it in the video description down below. You can check it out. It is a little bit pricey at $499 for their base model, but I'm really going to enjoy it. And if you guys want to see some actual development on maybe running things like the Android uh, SDK or some subpar menu of that on a Chromebook, I'm hoping to do a little bit of development with this device as well. We'll see how that goes. But stay tuned for those kind of videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.